Gifts from Heaven, Volume 1, Chapter 10 Three Questions 3rd of May, 1840 Is the Roman Catholic Church not missing the fact that it takes the cup away from the laity, since in Matthew 26, 27 it says, Does everyone drink from it? May the host be worshipped. Shall we give full faith to the books of Emmanuel Swedenborg? For these three questions that have been submitted to you for answering, I want to give the questioners three hard answers, because they ask before it is time, and through this want to enrich their knowledge rather than the love for me, which is, after all, higher than all knowledge. They do not consider what is needed first. The gift of wisdom comes to everyone according to the degree of love for me, which is the true bread and the true cup, or my body and my blood from which all prophets, from Moses to John, and from John to Emmanuel Swedenborg, and all the wise men taught out of my love, testify. You see the sun in a dewdrop and say, This is a true image of the sun, it just lacks warmth. But I say, It is easier to warm the drop than to put a faithful image of such a big sun into it. Since I do the latter, why don't you do the easy former, and ask so foolishly whether the host should be worshipped or not? Have I not already sufficiently told and shown you all what true worship consists of, and how I and matter relate? What is the point of your untimely wit? Now know what you want to know, and remember it well behind your sluggish ears. Revive your heart, and look to Emmaus. When I broke the bread, the disciples recognized me, even without the cup, and were inflamed with their love for me. Do the same. Enjoy the bread in the true, pure love for me, and do not be offended by the unimportant form. But only strive for love and the faith that arises from it. And I myself will hand you the cup full of the Holy Spirit, which is my blood. The wine of the cup is a drink. For harlotry in the spirit of all unfairness dwells therein. And you shall not thirst for it, and the servants alone shall make you drink it, which are the graves of filth, and moisten their unfruitful soil because of the perversion of their love, that any fruit that grows there may be made free, and blossom like a sunflower on the graves of filth. But the cup which I will hand you, is the true cup, since all spirit of truth and all life is present. That is what you thirst for. On the second question, as for the host in the Lord's Supper, it is a bread baked from flour, like the bread in Emmaus, and likewise only matter, has no life, and cannot give life but is dead and gives death. But he who breaks it, blesses it, and gives it, has life, and can give it to all who enjoy it as a sign of true love in the faith that lives from it. Because where there is true love for me and you, there is also the gift as a sign. But wherever the gift is, there is also not far away the giver to whom alone all worship is due. 
So first seek love in me, through the voluntary keeping of the commandments. Then the gift will enlighten you, and you will recognize the giver in the gift. Burn with love for him, and worship his great holiness. Therefore, love first, then the gift will be righteous, will be a light to you, alive in the bread. And only then will the blessing of the giver be in the gift. And then you will worship his holiness in spirit and in truth. As far as Emmanuel Swedenborg is concerned, let them, the questioners, try whether they too are able to say such things without my wisdom. He was awakened by me and was led by my angels into all their wisdom from me, according to the degrees of their love. And what he says is good and true. But my teaching and my living word, which comes to you from my mouth through the love in you, is higher than all the prophets and all the wisdom of the angels. For love is the first and highest. After that comes wisdom. Whoever therefore has true love for me, to him will also be given wisdom in abundance. But who seeks the truth without love beforehand? He will find nothing but deception, and will be a look-alike and in the end will not know which one is actually the real one. Therefore love first, and leave the pretense, and the sun will rise in you. Amen, amen, amen. These are three hard answers to you from the great height of me, Jehovah. Amen.